If you want to learn Linux, probably one of the best things you can do is to prepare for the Linux Essential Certification from the LPI, even if you have no intention to ever get the actual certification. And that's because the objectives covered in that exam are kind of like a pre-calc that you would take before you dive into the world of calculus. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to cover everything from what even is open source all the way to assigning special permissions to system-wide shared folders on a Linux server. It's a very awesome series. The objectives that we cover will prepare you to determine if Linux is something that you want to do. Now, there are no pre requisites to go through this series or even to prepare to take the certification exam if that's what you want to do. Um, and it can do a lot for you. It can help you determine if Linux is something that's going to get you a job that you like or advance your existing career or honestly even just get a really cool nerdy hobby. And best of all, the tools to learn and use Linux are free. That's actually one of the reasons that I became a Linux person like 20 plus years ago. It's because it was free. And I talked to Network Chuck about it in a video. So that's where I was. And the reason today that Linux is my operating system of choice is not necessarily some big philosophical decision that I made, although I love Linux, high open source. Um, <laughs> it's because it was free. <laughs> I couldn't afford anything. I had to relearn my trade. Plus, Linux is the foundation of so many other aspects of IT. For example, if you want to learn about networking, Linux is a huge part of networking, whether it is on the actual hardware or just the underpinnings of how things on the network communicate with each other. Linux is always a big part of that. Uh, development. If you're going to be developing software, it's probably going to be running on a Linux server. Uh, if you want to work on cloud computing, yes, a lot of that has to do with API interfaces and clicking in a web browser. But guess Guess what almost all of the cloud computing stuff is running on? Linux. It's truly everywhere. So whether you want to be a developer or you want to be a system administrator or a combination like a DevOps user, um, I talked with Network Chuck again about DevOps and why even if you want to be in DevOps, understanding Linux is so important. Uh, you shouldn't use DevOps to do something that you couldn't do on your own. So while I said DevOps is a great way to automate away the, the need to install Apache and set up all those things, really, if you don't understand what's happening behind the scenes, you're probably gonna DevOps your way into an uncomfortable spot. <laughs> And here's the thing, even right now, the IT world continues to grow. Our world is expanding in the world of IT, so it is the perfect time to start learning about Linux. Regardless of how old you are or what your current education level is, it's never too late to start and it's never too early to start. So like I always say on the channel here, learn everything, do what you love, and most importantly, be kind. I hope that you'll stick around. I hope you enjoy this course. I hope it's helpful to help you determine what you want to do with Linux from here on out. And I hope that you'll join our community here, subscribe to the channel so that we can do more cool things together. See you around.